What's up guys, it's Ono Tech here and this is going to be my $400 gaming budget build video. So guys, I thought it would be a lot easier to just cut to the chase and start off with the build, so that's what I'm going to do. And for the processor, I decided to go with the Intel Celeron G1610 processor dual core clocked at 2.6 gigahertz and bear with me when I pick this processor I know if you guys are even a little bit tech savvy you know that Celeron branding for Intel has not been the best but this is an Ivy Bridge processor so it has similar architectures to the i5s and the i7s that are top of the line and this is an LJ1155 so that means you have a pretty good upgrade path and the reason I didn't go for AMD with such a small budget I have right here is because the lowest AMD processor at this price point under 50 bucks is not the same match as this Celeron Intel processor. This processor, even though it's dual core, will really get the job done at 720p and possibly 1080p if you have your settings right. And that's the main reason why I chose this processor and I feel like it's going to fit really, really well into this build. As for the motherboard, I decided to go with the MSI B75MA E33 USB3 LJ1155 motherboard. This motherboard is B75, so automatically out of the box, it will be able to support the Ivy Bridge processors, and that gives it a great upgrade path. It also has 16 gigs of memory, uh, potentially, and has, I think, four USB3 ports at the back with eight USB 2.0 uh, ports in total so that really does give you a little bit of uh, headway for next gen and anything else that might be coming out in the year or two this motherboard will do you fine justice with this particular build for the RAM I really 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 wanted to go with 8 gigs you guys have no idea but I just couldn't fit this under the $400 price point so sadly I had to go with 4 gigs but that shouldn't matter because RAM is always upgradable and it's getting cheaper by the minute hopefully so I think 4 gigs of 1600 megahertz RAM would do this build just fine it fits in the budget very nicely and although 8 gigs is preferred 4 gigs can still really get the job done if you're not multitasking too much you can still see little to no lag between 8 gigs and 4 gigs and I feel like it'll do very well paired up with this particular motherboard and the Intel Celeron G1610 processor. As for storage, I decided that a 500 gig 7200 RPM hard drive would be just fine for this build. I know that a lot of people really like a terabyte or more, but as you can tell, there's always room for upgrading a computer, and if you really do want a terabyte, I can link one in the description below for any of you who feel like you really need your space in case you're video editing or anything like that, but for under 50 bucks, this 500 gigabyte hard drive will be exactly what you need with this $400 build. So now it's everybody's favorite part of the build, the graphics card, and what did I choose for this $400 build? I had a lot of options including the 7770 and the GTX 650, but I felt like for under 120 bucks, the 7790 would do this build fine. The 7790 is a really good card for its price point and I feel like for gaming you really do want the best graphics card that your money can buy and this uh, card fit right into the budget and it can play 1080p games pretty well at decent settings um, it's not gonna really max every game that you want but for $400 you really shouldn't expect that and for its price it's really the best card that you can get right now and I feel like Paired with the Celeron dual core, it can really help push for better frames per second and better overall quality in video. As for the case, I decided to go with the Roswell ATX Mid Tower Redbone case. Now, this case isn't really packed with a ton of features, but it has the basic gaming features such as a bottom mounted PSU and the screwless locks for storage uh, in there, and I think that's really a base and that's really uh, necessary for a decent. Uh, gaming tower. As for the design, I really like the red bezels that Roswell used, and Roswell is a nice brand, so you can expect a lot out of this case despite its lack of pretty awesome features. 
As you guys should know, you never cheap out on the power supply and this build isn't any different from the others I've done. As for the power supply, I went with Corsair, a CX 430 watt power supply. 430 watts is a good number of watts that you could use for this particular system. And being Corsair, it's a good brand. Um, you got a warranty and it's 80 plus certified, which is also a really nice plus. You really get the watts that you paid for. And overall, for under 40 bucks, you really can't go wrong with this power supply. Last but surely not least, we have a generic light on CD slash DVD burner. Um, just in case you have a burning desire to burn a CD or a DVD, um, a lot of things are still being digitally um, uploaded and are on the internet, but there are some people who really like the comfort of having a hard disk with them at all times, and that's fine, and this burner will surely get that job done for under 20 bucks. So guys, that was the end of my $400 budget gaming build. If you like this video, please share, subscribe, and comment what you think of the parts that I picked. I'm open to anything, and I really appreciate everything that you guys have done so far, um, all the support. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed. And as always, peace and have a good one.